we are going to be doing, what are we doing today? We are going to be coding together today. We are going to be coding in Python. More specifically, automating our lives. Today though, automating our lives with building ourselves our own games in Python. This is something that is super fun to do, whether you are an experienced engineer or maybe you are just starting out in your coding journey and you wanna start building some really cool stuff. I thought this would be a good idea to do build a few small games together because it really, even if you're not, maybe you're a developer for many years, but you haven't dabbled, is that the right word, in Python, this is a great way to get familiar with it, learn a bunch of the basics, or maybe you're, as I just mentioned, starting out your career in coding. I feel like there's nothing better that helps solidify your learnings than actually building something you can use. And that is what we are going to do today. Let's get into it. Okay, no, we can't, we can't code standing up right now. We gotta sit down and focus. Ugh, this is so frustrating. We have our first blocker already, which is my mouse and keyboard died. We're gonna go sit at the dining room table and get this done. All right, we are finally seated, ready to go. I have, uh, there should be like a meme of how many drinks a programmer or really anyone can have at their desk. So I have one, but this is empty, so it doesn't really count, does it count? Two, fizzy water. Then I have like this really weird random three, which is uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, because I, Toronto Marley, oh no, yeah, Toronto Marley's. So it's not even the Maple Leafs, but uh, from Toronto, because as you know, I live in Toronto, or maybe you didn't know, and now you know. Anyways, that's my drink update. Comment down below though, how many drinks do you typically have at your desk at a given time? Usually I have about two coffee cups, so this is a big win. All right, let's dive into it. Before we talk about the projects we're going to be making, I wanna share with you where we will be working today, which is in REPL. You know I love REPL for a few reasons. One being because whether you are an experienced engineer or you are just starting out, this is a great place to be able to build quickly. No, REPL does not sponsor me, but they really should because I feel like I'm always sharing about how much I love them. All right, so let's go ahead and create REPL. I selected Python, so you are in a Python environment. This just is so, I really like it because you can start building right away, start focusing on the things you actually wanna focus on versus setting up your environment, which is important too, but in this case, we're building fun game. All right, the first game I wanna share with you, I have it here on my other computer if you see me looking this way. Uh, this one I thought was pretty cool because when I was making this list, I was so nervous, I thought, you know, everyone always is making Python games. What is going to differentiate our games? And of course, I thought, let's make some really cool ones. So the first game, we are going to make, it's called a virtual pet simulator. So this essentially, this code of pet, this game is going to have attributes such as hunger, happiness, um, different things that we give it. So it feels like it's like our little code pet. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is import some packages or libraries. So import uh, random and import time. And we'll get to why in a sec here. And this is going to give me some, uh, okay, we had some issues. The fan was going, everything was like falling apart, but we're here. All right, so what I did was, in order to fit uh, a few games into this video, I'm not going to walk you through my typing and, and being really boring with that, but rather gonna type some things out and then we can walk through what is going on together. So I imported random and time. There is an import block, is unsorted or unformatted. Just ignore the error because it will run. So we don't need to question things. I'm just kidding, you can, um, but it's totally fine, it will still run. So when we scroll down here, you can see we have a class pet and this init function will, or you can think of it as a special method that will run when a new pet object is created. So every time a new pet object is created, this will run. And what it will do, let me zoom in here, is it will essentially initialize the attribute of each attributes of each pet. So as you can see here, self is referring to the current pet instance. Name is the name we are giving our pet, which is passed into init. And as you can see here, pet is Lulu. Um, I don't know why, I think Lulu is kind of a cute name. I had a bunny growing up and it was named Bonito, but my friend had a bunny growing up was named Lulu. 
This video is, I think I had too much coffee. This video is taking a lot of different terms here. So anyways, continuing on that we have hunger, uh, wit and happiness, which are attributes. So they're starting at zero and then they will continue to accumulate more numbers as we are satisfying the algorithm or satisfying our pet, not algorithm. You shouldn't speak to it that way. Then we have feed, which is a method that reduces the pet's hunger by one and prints this message. So every time you do feed, it will reduce the hunger by one it will say self name is happy, hunger reduced. Then we have play, which is a method that will increase the pet's happiness and print this message of happiness is increased. And uh, the status, so you can see current hunger level and current happiness level. So let's go ahead, this code is not done yet, but these are just what we are going to be doing between feed, play, and status. Let's continue coding. Okay, we are back part two. So we have now added a bit more code to this. So we can see here, user choice input. So we'll see this little arrow. Is this what it's called, arrow? And if a user choice is equal to feed, then feed the pet. Same with play, same with status, and same with exit. So let's go ahead and run this code. All right, run. You can see I was running it earlier, six minutes ago, actually. All right, so as we can see, this is the arrow we are getting. I feel like the prompt should be a bit more noticeable than that. I don't know, let's change it to talk to me. That means, I don't know, that makes me feel a little bit better. Let's go here. Thank you. All right. All right. So now talk to me. Um, let's go ahead and start with feed. Lulu is happy. Hunger reduced. Now if we go feed again. Did you hear that? That was my stomach in the ground so much. Um, okay. So you can see it's always ke keeping on reducing to negative one. Now let's go ahead and yeah, you know how we could improve this if you want to spend more time on it is because it's just every time it's running and going back to negative one. The next step I would take this game is making it so, yeah, I don't know if I love that. I don't want it to keep on accumulating versus just staying on the same number. Okay, this is a, you know, this is a work in progress. We can continue iterating on it. Okay, let's go ahead and do play. Play with Lulu, playing with Lulu, happiness increased. Okay, now let's do status. Hunger level, happiness level. This is a bug. Okay, talk to me, play with Lulu, play. There we go, that is working as expected. Now, what is going on with hunger? Well, before we do that, feed, play, status. Okay, let's go back to hunger. Let's try it one more time. Hunger reduced to two. Lulu is happy. Oh, it's one sec here. Now let's do status again. So it's accumulating, it's just not there. Okay, let's figure out what is going on. Okay, everything seems right. I actually ran this through uh, ChatGPT to get its take on it. And it gave me a few ideas, but I think at the end of the day, it's just not um, calling, no, it is calling feed. It's so interesting. I'm curious to hear. We're not going to solve this, I don't think. Here we go. Uh, play. One. Play. Two. Feed. One. And feed starts at zero. Feed is one. Yeah. It's going to... I feel like it's almost super obvious I'm missing, but you know what? That is coding in real time. Um, but anyways, this is a super fun game to play. And I think at the end of the day, okay, leave in a bit of the debugging, but then we're gonna switch quicker than fun. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna shift gears because this project is something we're building for ourselves. We can do that. I actually ran this code through ChatGPT to get its take on um, what was going on with printing out self.hunger and it's not honestly coming back as anything is wrong. I can't see anything wrong. Maybe it's super obvious, leave in the comments if it is, but we're gonna alter this a little bit just to, you know, we have to like end on a positive note. I feel weird not ending on a positive note. Let's do hunger, let's do satisfaction is increased to. Do you know what it is? Oh my gosh, it's because. Okay, we have to cut that like a lot of this out because this is way too long. Anyways. Do you know what was going on with the code? Why I was like confused is because this is what you know, it's end of day. 
We have pet hunger down here. You probably were screaming at me when building this. This is the reason why. I thought so. I was I, so I built this project a few days ago, and then now I'm rebuilding it with you. And I was like, something is going on. But when you scroll down, you can't hardly see it. Oh my goodness. It makes me feel so much better. I'm so happy to end on such a positive note. Anyways. Really fun project uh, to automate your life, to build a pet automatically, if you will. And uh, actually speaking of pets, I'm gonna put on screen here, Mr. Muggs this morning had his girlfriend come over, I guess, if you wanna call it that, who, it's the one dog he cannot get enough of, so I'll put it right here. He won't leave her alone, it's a problem. He's obsessed with her and she just is like, I don't care about you, I'm too cool for school. Anyways, now you don't need an in-person dog. You can have your own pet and you can really customize this. This is super simple logic, a super simple project, but it really lays down a lot of the foundations which are key, especially when you are learning Python. I hope you enjoyed this and found it valuable going through the code, what is happening and uh, taking this and really making it your own. All right, I will see you all soon. Leave in the comments other things that we should automate with Python. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Bye everyone. Yeah.